All right, let's get to my next interview. Uh, joining me right now. What's good? What's rolling? How's it going? I can't call it, man. Living, as you can see. <laughs> it's it's all good. You know, things happen. You know, we are in the holiday season, so um, no worries. I just got tired of me. Yeah. Yeah, so I do appreciate you being on the show and uh, getting a chance to chat with you. So um, with everything Absolutely. that's happening. Um, so how did you get started into hip hop? How did this start off for you? <laughs> uh, I've been doing music forever. Um, I think I found my lane though, coming out of high school. That's when I really started, started to take it seriously and know that this is really what I wanted to do is for a career, you know what I mean? what I wanted to do to make money to finance my life. So, uh, but as far as hip hop and it's found specifically, I don't know. I kind of just, I guess hip hop, hip hop to me is, is real. You know what I'm saying? So I find sounds that I can stick to or sounds that I'm comfortable with. And I just portray what I go to. Yeah. Um, so, so props to you for that. Um, obviously, you know, with hip hop, you know, you know, you, you get real authentic and, and speak your truth. People can relate to it. People definitely going to feel you. They're going to vibe with you. They're going to be in your corner wanting you to succeed, um, not just in music, but in life in general. Um, so, that, you know, that that within itself is a big deal, obviously. Um, so, who were some of the artists that that got you into hip hop? Who are some of the artists that stood out to you, inspired you, or maybe influenced you? Like who kind of made you say, oh, this is exactly what I wanted to <laughs> do? The list is the list is long. <laughs> we can go old school all the way up to current right now. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, we can go to just past too. But yeah. I think some of my idols, uh, both have passed in, some of them have passed in the game, but I would have to give it to uh, Left Eye. Uh, I've always connected with Left Eye ever since a child, since I've watched it on TV, stuff like that. Uh, Nipsey, also, of course. Dave East. Uh, Cole. J. Cole got me through some dark, dark times. Um, yeah, people like that. <laughs> Nas, Nas was, and, but we talk about, we talking about favorite artists now, if, we're gonna, if I say Nas, but yeah. as far as who would inspire me, or who I, who I walk behind, would definitely have to be Nipsey. Um, as far as more current than everybody would know. Back in the day, Pac, though. Pac is like one of my biggest idols in the world. Like, I don't know, there's something about Pac I can relate to, so. Yeah, and, you know, Tupac especially. Um, just one more, one song, he can, he can get all gangster on you and just go hardcore. <laughs> Next thing you know, he can, you know, show love to the ladies. No. And I think that's why I related yeah. so much to Pac. It just yeah. like they said, it was in an interview, I forgot who they said, who, who it was I was watching, they was like, uh, one minute, you, you get gangster as, as the sit, and then the next you get profit. You know what I mean? You yeah. get somebody who was trying to speak knowledge to you, somebody who was trying to teach you some shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, and I, I just really relate to that. Yeah, and he also um, give you that message behind this music as well. You know, songs like Keep Your Head yeah. Up, Brenda Got a Baby, you know, so it's just really, really thought provoking shit, you know, so, mm -hmm. you know, so real shit. Um, guys like Nipsey and, and Left Eye, you know, that's, you know, Left Eye, I don't think she gets enough credit for, for hip hop. I don't think so either, but I don't think she was in a game long yeah. enough, as short as her life. Well, I don't, I, I don't think we got to see what she was capable of. Yeah. Or how, how in depth her brain actually was, you know what I'm saying? She was well before her time, if you ask me. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people, I will say she's kind of like the female equivalent of Pac. Um, you know, just how her approach and how how she expressed herself in her music. You know, she she got some some Tupac in her. At least that's my opinion. Okay, anyway, I can see that. <laughs> um, so, so you know, with two thousand twenty one, um, hip hop, it's been quite the year. Um, I I do my best to listen to anyone and anybody that's out there on the local, and you, your your music got my attention. 
do some mutual friends. And, you know, I've been listening to your, to your music on Spotify, you know, the Smoke Break EP. <laughs> um, I definitely love the Smoke and Break EP. And it's crazy because a lot of people are, are, you're not the first person this year. You're like, that shit, probably the 16th, 17th person that said something to me like that. What's crazy about Smoke Break and anything that I just released this year, ironically, let you into some little secrets behind the doors, but, uh. None of that have, is anything I've created in the past two or three years. I'm, I mean, I'm, I, there's so much stuff I'm working on right now that I'm so anxious. I'm, I'm highly anticipating this tape that I'm dropping to my birthday. I haven't even said anything to anybody about it. So if anybody, for everybody who's tuned in right now, yeah, you'll get the word here soon. But I'm, I'm working on two tapes, actually, that will drop on my 32nd birthday. So, um, and I'm, I'm my, I don't know, I, I'm a nerd, so... I watch Avatar and movies, shit like that. And Avatar just signed for like eight more movies, but inside the script, each movie has to be as big as the next one, as bigger than the first one. You know what I'm saying? So that is kind of when I when I heard that, I was like, you know what? I want to make a point to. I've done this. I've done that. I've shown them. I've showed the people what what I look like. So let me give them a glimpse of. Let me show them in a different octave. Let me show them what it looks like to walk in my shoes from my perspective, not to give nobody no catchphrases, no. No, none of that. Let me just give it to you real raw. So you, in this tape, you hear me, you hear a lot of pain. You hear a lot of sorrow. You also hear a lot of happy times, too. But you actually just get to take a walk through my shoes for the past three years and all everything that I've just been through. You know what I mean? So I, I think I'm so proud of this one. And I don't really talk about Smoke Break so much, even though it is so recent to people because it's so old to me. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. to say old to somebody is new to somebody else. So, But I, I'm just, I feel like Personally, as an artist, I've leveled up so far beyond in, in my in my artistry beyond that tape that it's it's just crazy. I just had to get that out of my system. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah, with, with, with respect to you um, for you know coming a long way and just you know definitely showing some growth in, in everything and showing some perspective and stuff. Um, and we, we embrace nerds on this show, whether you watch Avatar, Star Wars, DC, Marvel, don't matter. We embrace, we embrace nerds I'm on like this show. Earth. There's levels um, to this. Yeah, yeah. I'm a nerd too, and I'm not ashamed of it whatsoever. Um, just, I'll, I'll be, I'll be walking a Spider-Man mask and just Dark Vader the next. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so. He's talking my language now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I I go to the conventions just as you know, not just to famous people, but I just go to see the costumes. Who's really got the dopest yeah, costumes? Yeah, me too. Just so, to get out and mingle, see stuff. I like anything that can take me away from the world. Sometimes I like to live in alternate, you know, what I'm saying perspective. Sometimes alternate universes. Yeah. I, keep, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I've had a childhood or what, but I, I like to keep that alive. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so go check out Shuck Nasty's, you know, she got new music on the way on her 32nd birthday on the next way, year. But in the meantime, yeah, but in the meantime, go listen to the smoke break, go listen to her old um, joints from earlier this year and, you know, get yourself ready because she coming hard in 2022 and she going to oh, do it. You have no clue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So That's she, an understatement. I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah, she 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 got y'all. She 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 heard y'all. She listened to y'all. Now you gonna listen to her when this new music come out. Um, so yeah. so so as people as people of our color would say, just keep that same energy. Um, when this mm -hmm. new music come out. Uh, so, <laughs> but just great having you on the show. Great chatting with you. I know you're just coming off of a Christmas party. Uh, so you, yeah, I apologize for being yeah. late too. I no, apologize. it's all good. It's all good. Um, you know, it's the holidays, people hanging out with families and stuff. So it's all good. No worries. Um, I'm just glad to have you on the show and just have a brief chat with you. I look and hopefully we'll meet each other. Um, I'm from Lexington, so I'll I'll be at the shows every now and then. So maybe we'll like, cross. Man, yeah, step through. Yeah. They say uh, car to control is coming here soon. I just got the, the email or whatever on my phone. Somebody wants me to try out and see if I can open up for them with some people. But I don't know. Yeah, come take me out. Any, any show you see me in, come take me out. And 
And make sure you send me your, uh, your shirt sizes and stuff, and I'll get your little care pack over from Stud. Okay, bet. Food. Yeah, I'm all for that. I'll definitely get in touch. Um, thanks again. Continue success. And, uh, well, happy holidays to you. And, uh, well, we'll see each other next year, I guess. Absolutely. Appreciate it, man. Happy holidays. Thank you. Much love. Have a good night. Yep, yep. All right.